What's up traders, hope you all doing well and I hope you all having an awesome weekend. So as always, on weekend, I want to give you something to learn how to enter the trades using the zones and how to enter the trade using the good entry condition. So if you want to skip this part of the video and want to skip directly to the analysis part of the video, you can skip it to the timestamp right up there. But if you want to learn something, I promise you that will be beneficial for you in your trading. So first, we're going to talk about some zones I have sent last week to the members, some commodity zones. I will go through one Forex zone as well. So starting with wheat. So as you can see on the screens, I've sent this zone to my members when the price was right here. And with that, as you can see, the price did react it out of my zone in a nice manner. This is the move we had on daily time frame. But if you are taking entries on smaller time frame, let's say you have you have an entry here on smaller time frame looking at this nice pin bar or 3 2 candle that would be a nice push down out of my zone i'm expecting more push down out of wheat and i might be sending these next support zones to the members and the other commodities i'll be paying attention to take my trade throughout the week so that was the first commodity let's see another one so next up we have palladium right here, i've sent this zone to the members when the price was right here as you can see on the screens, the price was pushing up to the next level of resistance. And I've already informed the member that I'm expecting a nice push down out of the zones with one of the entry reason you learn in the trade alert. So going back on a smaller time frame, we did have a nice engolfer right here and that pushed the price down. So that is what you learn entering with a good condition and only entering the trade, the counter trades at the right area of value. So I did I did send one zone of copper and net gas as well that is still running. I don't want to make this video much longer and show all the zones. And I want to show you one more zone here, which is the Forex pair I've sent right here. So I've sent around nine Forex pairs I have lots of pair under my radar. Last week, there are some pairs that are still running, but this was the pair I just want to show you. As you can see, the price was right here when I've sent the zones to the member right here. I have personally taken this entry as well. And as you can see, we did have a nice double bottom pattern with this nice pin bar. And as you can see, the price was about to hit my stop loss. That is a lesson we need to learn. Setting up a right stop loss using the ATR keeps with the volatility of the market. That is why I always say to make sure take your targets using the ATR. And this is a good example. The stop loss was not hit because the spread for this pair is really small. And as you can see, it was three pips away from my stop loss. And after that, the price pushed up dramatically, hitting my take profit. That was a patience. And I was not getting panic here because I was prepared to take my stop loss when I clicked the buy button. I will never exit my trade until it hit my stop loss or my take profit. That is what I never recommend anyone. If you enter the trade, if you know all your rules, if you enter the right trade, make sure you let your trade run until it hit your stop loss or take profit. So these are some of the examples of the zones and the way we enter the trade using these zones at the right place at the right time takes your trading to the next level. So I don't want to hold you much longer than this and I want to jump on to our analysis part starting with net gas, gold, crude oil and silver today. And let's start our analysis with net gas first. Awesome. Right here. What do we have? I was getting messages from the traders that shall I buy when the market was here, when the market was here and even though when the market was here. And every time any trader asked me to buy when the market was here, here or here. Every time I said no and every time I said wait for the condition and I've already informed them that I'm expecting a nice pullback entry even though that time this entry condition was not formed. But that is what my job is. I look at the charts maybe 18 hours a day. So that is why I have a very good idea of how the price action can react if the price action is likely to form a pattern or not. That is what I've already told the members to wait until we get the entry condition. And as you can see the DMs on the screens, all the members who are in touch with me on Instagram, I've already informed them that we have a good reason to enter. If this candle is closed, we are good to take of a buy trade, but we must see this candle closed as an engulfing candle, which we have now. I've sent this entry to the members when the price was here. And as you can see, the price is almost pushing up and about to hit our take profit one. And we have our take profit two as well. I will not recommend you guys to jump in this trade right away. So this was one of the pullback entry you learn in the priority group and which I also try to teach you guys here on my YouTube channel. So that is what you call a power of entering with the condition which is not a guessing game we had a buy signal with this engolfer a swing low engolfer and that 
push the market up so in my previous video i've clearly said that i want to see a break above this high once we have a break above this high i want to see a pullback of few candles and i want to see an entry condition above 50 ema and i've also said that that we have a 50 ema resistance on a daily time frame at that time and we have a likely chance that the price will push down and that exactly what has happened here let me quickly show you what i've said so that you can understand the condition the entries and the way you can enter the trades this is now breaking above this previous high if that candle has closed above this previous high then it will enter in the bullish zone till the price hit the next level of resistance so i will wait for this candle to close and then i will expect some pullback of few red candles and then we i'll be only looking for my buying trades i'm expecting a pullback because if you look at on a daily time frame price is about to hit 50 ema right here on a daily time frame so that can be a pullback on 4 hour time frame before we get another reason to enter long trade which is one of the pullback entry you learn in the priority group awesome so that is what exactly has happened here so at this point net, net gas is pushing up and i'm expecting a net gas to push up even further and i'm hoping that it hit over take profit too as well but it's totally up to you what i personally do when i'm in a trade if my take profit one is hit especially for commodities i exit my trade or i move my stop loss to break even and let my trade run to take profit too so that i'll be running in a risk free trade so now let's see how the market opens if the market opens in gap and hit you take profit too then we are lucky so coming back here on currency.com now at this point as you can see the market is above all the ems and broken above this rejection level in pink at this point i'm expecting a market to even push up pull back and keep on pushing up until we hit this next level of resistance which is 7.1 Double two goes up to seven point five eight six. This is the zone from where I'll be looking to enter my sell trade as an engulfers or a double top entry pattern. So have these zones on your charts. I'll be only looking to enter my buy trades with the pullback until we hit this zone in red. I won't be entering sell trades at this point unless and until the price dramatically push down, breaks, and close below all the EMAs. which look less likely to me. Okay, right here on Oanda, a new resistance zone which is 6.680 goes up to 6.998. So this is the new zone here on Oanda. If you are trading here on Oanda platform, you want to mark the zones there as well. So this is the zone right here from where I want to see a nice push down or a pull back. That will be enough to hit our sell targets before the price can likely to push up in a trend again. and i will keep you guys updated with the condition so i have these zones on the chart this is the zone the red zone is the zone from where i want to look for my engulfers pin bars or a double top entry pattern to take my sell trade until then we'll be only looking to take buy trades with some pullback until we hit this zone again i want to see how the market opens if it opens in gap up that's totally good if it opens in gap down crazily then i will look for the condition accordingly and update you guys as usual let's check gold okay right here on gold again guys the price is about to hit 50 ema at this point i'm expecting a nice engulfing candle right here a move like this once we have a move like this we are good to take over long trade again and take your targets according to the atr atr at this point is $8 so i'm expecting a $8 move up only once we have a good reason to enter this is a very good example of the swing low engulfing pullback entry exactly the same entry we had on our natural gas so if we have a good condition like this i'm expecting gold to push up from here and now if we have no entry reason let's say the price push down break and close below 50 ema then we have a good signal that the price will push down to the next level of support which is 1716 goes up to 1728 this is the zone from where i'll be looking for my engulfing candle to take my buy trades or with a double bottom entry pattern to take my long trades from this is the zone from where i will be looking for my buy trades only so look for the conditions to take your trades let's check silver right here silver we had a nice condition sell condition for silver at this point silver is in a support zone and now we might see few red candles before we get good reason to enter buy trades so this is a zone which is 20.79 goes up to 21 this is a zone i'll be only looking to enter 
my buy trades only we already have this pin bar let's see if it's a valid 3a2 candle or not that it's not a valid 3a2 candle it's not a bullish candle so at this point i want to see another red and green candle to take my long trades so in the nutshell this is the zone to take my buy trades until the price push down close below this zone if that happens then we have a likely chance that the silver will push down and the next zone to buy silver is 17.78 goes up to 20. let's check crude oil all right crude oil is now pushing up from the minor level of support at this point i won't be buying crude oil like i said in my last video we have a nice retest of this zone with this nice engulfing candle and that has pushed the market down dramatically and that was enough to hit our sell targets so at this point i won't be buying crude oil we can still expect a push up again hit 20 ema and then might we might see another bearish candle to take sell trade so not buying crude oil at this point i'll be only looking to buy crude oil once the price hit the next zone which is 75.11 goes up to 76.90 this is the zone i want to see look for a nice bounce with one of the entry condition you learn here and in the priority group so that is it for commodities guys if you have any questions any confusions you can buzz me on instagram i'll get back to acb hope you trade green rest of the week i'll see you guys in the next video have an awesome weekend take care